going on my friends? In today's video, we are talking about my training split for this contest prep. Let's get into the video. My name is Brian DeCosta, BrianDeCosta.com. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you have been a seasoned subscriber, as in in the last two years, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please like the video. Drop a comment if you enjoy all that good stuff. So my channel is taking a bit of a turn as we are in a new competition phase. What I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be doing, I said that weird, moving forward is just as much as doing vlogs as I have in the past, I'm gonna be doing sit down informational type talks because at the end of the day, you guys wanna derive something from the video, not just watch my life. And sure, there is value in watching someone the way that they live, perhaps they have a result that you desire, seeing what they eat, where they go, what they do, their mentality. We're gonna have that stuff, but we're also going to marry that with sitting down, talking, have a candid discussion, having a candid discussion, more of an educational experience. <laughs> Welcome to the workout portion of the video. Now, in the last videos, we have just been, I've just been like putting the workout in, but now we're actually in the gym. We're speaking, this is my boy, Mr. Ray Diaz. Nice and to Ray, meet you guys, what's up? You guys have met Ray before. Ray is an actor, Ray is an entertainer. He's accomplished some massive things here out in Los Angeles and continues to do so. And not only that, is he very talented there, but he's talented with this freaking body. He's in amazing shape and I'm training him and have been for the last uh, couple months, mm -hmm. taking him to the next level. Yeah. And as you guys will be able to see in this video, his physique is already next to none. Honestly, he could probably step on stage in a men's physique show and do fairly well. But the way that we are, we're growth minded. What else is on the table? So. We're taking, I've been taking Ray through my training routine. We're hitting a push workout, I'm rambling. Ray, anything you would like to add? I just wanna say that I've been working out for over 15 years, I can honestly say, and I felt like I hit my plateau, right? I reached my peak is what I thought. This is all I can get. But Brian has showed me through his exercise and his motivation that I could get past that threshold. So I'm super excited to find out what we're doing today. Honestly, my back has, has grown so much, I've gotten thicker. I still weigh the same though. I don't get it. Oh. I still weigh the same. I'm still 171 pounds, but I'm bigger. Ah. Everybody's like, bro, you're getting jacked. Nah, bro, I'm still the same size. I'm stronger and I'm bigger, but I still weigh the same. My diet's still not good though. Okay, so imagine when I do jump on the diet. It's fairly good. I don't eat that bad because I'm very cautious. But you know, at night I do like to eat because I get bored when I'm editing and I like to eat. So that's yeah. something I got to work on. Yeah. Well, baby steps and Ray, Ray doesn't give himself enough credit. He does eat fairly well, but there's always room for improvement, right? Nice. And uh, room for uh, more targeted supplementation, meal timing, all these types of things. And we're working through it, man, mm -hmm. because what got us to, you know, level six is not going to get us to level seven. What got us to level seven is not going to get us to level eight. Yes. I say Ray's at a freaking level 27 right now, but to get to level 28, we've got to dial in a little yeah. bit more. So. Thank you. Let's get it. In today's video, we're talking about my personal training split for this uh, contest prep. Not to be confused with a comprehensive uh, coverage of training splits. That's for a subsequent video. We'll talk about the pros and cons of different training splits. Again, today's video is just about mine. So what is my training split? I'm doing push, pull legs, push, pull legs. I'm training six days per week and I'm taking one off day. So let's dive into it. Push, pull legs. So push, what is push? So push is muscle groups that require you to push. Seems logical, right? Chest, shoulders, triceps primarily. Pull is primarily your back. And legs as well, it's legs. It's your glutes, it's your quads, it's your hamstrings, it's your calves. Lower back works in there. And what I'm doing is, again, as I said, I'm training six days a week. So, and obviously I have it on the screen right now so you can see the breakdown, is push day number one is chest focused primarily, secondary shoulder, secondary tricep. Second push day is shoulder primary, chest secondary, tricep secondary. On to the pull motions. So pull motions, I have a deadlift day, which primarily I'm focusing on back thickness. And then I have another back day, pull day, which is focused on back width, doing a bit more uh, pull down motions essentially. So when you think thickness, usually it's rowing motions and deadlifting. And when you think, <coughs> excuse me, that V taper and a wide back, you're thinking pull downs. And then over to legs, 
legs is going to be uh, glute primary day, and then secondary quad, secondary hamstring, and then we're gonna have a quad primary day with secondary glute, secondary hamstring. So guys, we have a, obviously you can tell this is gonna be a quick video. This is my breakdown of what my training split is going to be. I have an amazing coach who is leading me through this contest prep. His name is Paul Ravella. I have full trust in him to bring the best package for me to the stage. Couldn't be more excited to work with uh, Paul. He's a seasoned veteran in the space, specifically with competitors. He's created a lot of pros, both women and men. And I've got full trust in the guy. I think he's amazing. I admire his life beyond just what he's built business-wise and with competitors. He's a great human being. And right now he has my full trust in the diet side of things only. I'm in full control of my training. And as I shared, I have full trust with him in controlling my macronutrients, calories, the types of foods that I'm taking in. I'm in control of my training for the time being. As we draw closer to the competition, you know, four or five, six weeks out, I'm gonna be taking slowly more guidance from him based on the way that I'm reacting. He may, he may want to take control of my training, switch things up for me. And if it gets to that point, obviously I will have full trust in Paul uh, from that point. This is a relatively new training split for me too, by the way, guys, speaking on push-pull legs twice per week. In the past, and when I say in the past, it's really been for like five, six years, I did another training split, and that was a five-day split, which was uh, chest, primary, tricep, secondary, next day back, and bicep, secondary, third day was legs, fourth day was shoulders, and then fifth day was arms, and then I would take a rest day, or I would do a full body day for day number six and then take a rest day and repeat that. And that is a cycle that I repeated for quite a bit of time. It helped me gain you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds of muscle over a five, six year period. And I love that style of training, but quite frankly, I got bored of it. I'm gonna be honest, and it's all about sustainability. So in the last three, four months, I've switched over to push pull legs and I've truly been enjoying it. And it's been really fun and I get to honor what is fun. And you get to honor what is fun too. If you're doing something, whether it's diet or training, and you're doing it simply because you think it's gonna get you results but you're not enjoying it, I wanna warn you now that your days are numbered doing that because the more that we go down a path of doing something that we're not enjoying, um, it's just not gonna be a good situation and we're gonna end up not giving full effort because we're not enjoying it and we're ultimately not gonna create the results in our life. So my, my request of you watching this video a takeaway is, hey, evaluate yourself, evaluate the way that not only you're training, but the way that you're eating and ask an honest question. Am I enjoying this approach? Am I enjoying this approach? If you're not enjoying the approach, I beg you to do a bit of research on your own, find something new because there's only um, probably 17,000 other diet protocols and training protocols that you can implement that may be more enjoyable for you. Don't think you have to do it one specific way because you saw some guru or fitness influencer, booty fit tea girl or guy, no judgment, on social media doing it a specific way. You are you, you can create results if you fucking work hard. You can create amazing results with a training split that isn't even ideal if you're enjoying it and you're working hard, dare I say, cause it's true. So with that being said guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. We're gonna keep it quick. We're gonna transition to the gym. You're gonna meet Ray, formally-ish, the individual who I'm training, and we're gonna go through a sick, 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 absolutely just disgusting push day um, so let's get into it without further ado.